the chromatic scale itself in the range of the guitar runs in these in this distance <laughs> And if a pianist were playing the same scale, he, would, he or she would be going a lot longer than the guitar player because we run out of, of distance on this. So I'm going to take another guitar playing that same chromatic scale, and I'm going to show you the displacement from a cube, which we'll refer that as, to a hypercube, which is what I'm going to do to that scale. So. Uh, on the basis of the beginning tone, it will be in this tempo. One, two, three, four. I'm running out of space at this point, but look how much farther this has gone. When you see from C to C, watch what happens uh, with octavistics. With the scale on a two-dimensional chromatic basis, minor seconds, when I do that with major sevenths, The second note is, is exactly one step, a minor second higher than the first. So the entire 12 tones exists within this one point to the second point. Whereas on the guitar, uh, normally played, the chromatic scale in a minor second order uh, runs out of space primarily because it's moving 12 tones at a time. One tone. Here I'm doing this, one. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But this way is one, two, three, four. And we have this effect. It's much longer and broader and dimensional than the first series, which was merely minor seconds. And the same thing takes place in retrograde. <laughs> Thank you. 